Howdy. So I'm just finishing up on the project. Uh, so I've been doing what we've been doing syrup. I got the syrup running right next door. Right next door is in three feet away. Um, I've been looking at doing some more bushcraft uh, activities and uh, one of the first ones I wanted to try doing was uh, making a spoon. Um, I never made one before. So over the winter I picked up a couple tools. Um, picked up the Mora 164 uh, hook knife. Um, and I reshaped the blade myself uh, using my work uh, smart uh, belt sander to remove the, uh, the bletch that was on the first bevel. Uh, yeah, it took about a minute or two uh, on there. And then ran it through on the, uh, first I did it with the medium belt, then I ran it through on the uh, fine belt, and uh, afterwards finished it up with a stone. And it, it's pretty sharp. Um, that's what I'm using for the, uh, the bowl area here. Yeah. You don't really need to provide a great deal of pressure, because all I'm doing is scraping. Um, when you first get started, I use my thumb a bit to dig it in and uh, end up with a good blister. Um, and I use that contour on the blade um, to kind of figure out that I'm trying to keep it uniform. I can run that around and see any place where it might be running a little bit different um, and feel it. But this is actually pretty good. I need to even off the top of it because it's rough on the top. And I'm going to do that with some sandpaper. And I'm trying to dig out some more of the back. The back of the bowl is not as uh, deep as the front. So that's why I've been working back here. I'll do another video. This, this is just my first one and I'm just learning what, I, what the heck I'm doing. But, yeah. I plan on doing a couple more spoons and maybe some bowls. So. Sometime this summer I'll do another video. Um, for carving the back of the contours. Um, this side. I picked up this Condor uh, bush lore. And very nice knife. Um, like $25, which is very affordable. Um, the blade comes with a machine uh, with a machine grind. And I went ahead and um, re-beveled that blade uh, using my diamond stones um, to get rid of a bit of a convex shape in the blade. So I went ahead and just removed it. So now it's a uh, Scandinavian grind all around. Um, and it's very, very sharp. Um, it took me about probably about three hours on the stones to remove the machine marks and the convexing on the blade. Um, I just did it while I was watching TV and I have smaller stones. I don't have full size stones other than my uh, Arkansas stones and those aren't very coarse so it would have taken too long. Um, my diamond blade ones are for a, um, a Smith's set that I use for sharpening. So I just use those by hand, set them on the contour and work the edge and uh, and reshape that blade. Um, you know, right about now, it, I've been working with this thing for about a couple weeks, and it's very, very sharp. Um, I use it for the, you know, tend to use it like this a lot on these long areas. Very, moving the wood as opposed to moving the knife. Um, and I can push my hand towards it because I have a ledge here that uh, I'm eventually going to cut off, so I don't have to worry about slipping my hand into the blade. Um, on the back of the bowl area, on the end grain areas, I carved it up as best I could and then used a the rasp to clean it off. Um, same with the, uh, this shape is actually a pain in the neck, I wouldn't make the shape again. Next one I'm going to do is taper it down, that makes it a lot easier because this end grain here is a pain in the neck to remove with the knife. Um, if you're using a, uh, um, Another set of tools, it's not as big of a deal, but with, with just using knives, it, it's, a, it's hard. Because you got to kind of cut. 
against the grain. And this is a uh, cherry that's coming out of the wood pile, so it's, it's hard as a rock. Um, so, like I said, I'll do another video. This is just like a, you know, uh, uh, to let you know I'm, I'm looking at this stuff. Um, I, I'm, yeah, I've, I've joined a couple of, uh, of um, bushcraft forums. You know, I'm looking for a different project ideas. I'd like to find some more interesting things to work on. Um, they don't require a heck of a lot of money. And should make good Christmas gifts. Kid beaters. Um, like I said, I'm cutting this off right here. That's why this area back here is all rough. But, uh, yes. If I had to figure out the number of hours I spend trying to figure all this out, this is like a thousand dollar knife, or a thousand dollar spoon. <laughs> yeah, maybe the next one will only be a five hundred dollar spoon, and the one after that maybe will be a fifty dollar spoon. Trying to, I'm going to taper in the back of this. I want to actually taper it down a lot on the back to make it thinner. And I'm going to taper it up in the front. So it's kind of big in the middle, but big and small or small on the front and the back. So I'm going to taper this front down and the back. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't cost me anything other than the knives. Who doesn't need more knives? So. Yeah, just want to, I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks. We're doing maple syrup some more. I posted maple syrup videos already. You don't need to see any more of my continuing boiling process. Um, and today is absolutely gorgeous out here. Check this out. I'm in a t-shirt. It's like 40 degrees, which in western New York means you put a t-shirt on. Um, snow is melting from the woods, um, and the trees will probably stop running. Oh, any time now. Yeah, they're running today because it was low freezing last night. But it's supposed to be 50 today and 60 tomorrow, so this is probably it. Um, so we'll come down next weekend, we'll clean up and put everything away um, and start on the next set of projects. Um, yeah, I just want to post something. I haven't posted in a couple weeks. Um, I have posted some blog posts and I put a lot of stuff on Facebook. So if you're, uh, yeah, if you're looking for anything I'm doing, um, on the blog you can, uh, you can put your email address in and it sends you an email when I put new content up. And then uh, Facebook, I put a lot more stuff on. Here comes some steam from the uh, from the from the boiling process. Facebook, I put a lot more stuff on. Yeah, I put on um, yeah any, anything I happen to find that's interesting. Links, videos. I found a bunch of cool old uh, axe videos. Um, I tossed those up this week. So, like I said, follow me on Facebook if you want. Um, subscribe to the blog, and uh, yeah, when I'm not doing videos tend to do those other things. So, right. I get back to work. Thanks for watching.